Hey there guys, so I know it's been a little while since I did my last update, but I do have everyone here and I am hoping that it will be a success. So let's just jump right in. So I'm going to start with very rare tapes and these are Hello Dolly tapes. And the thing about these is that on the back, these are actually from 1977, both of them. Wait a minute. And it does list Hello Dolly as the first title and as the first kind of thing. And all 50 were technically the first, but this is the first stock number, so I am really happy to have this. Or these two tapes. And then we have A Bridge Too Far. Now this was sent accidentally, but I got to keep these and I will show you the tapes that I was meant to get. But so I'm really happy to have these two. Sorry about the tapes. All I can say is that they're original copies. They just won't come out that easily. And then we're gonna move on to our MCA tapes. And the first one what I have here is Frankenstein. Tape, and this was printed, I mean, duplicated by Magnetic Video. And so was My Little Chickadee. Now, I used to have a beta tape of this, but I didn't realize for maybe six years that it was a reprint, so I got this VHS. And I do still have the end label for it, but I haven't had any tape, so I. Let's leave it the way it is, and that was printed by Magnetic Video, or duplicated. And Frenzy. Now, this is the one I've been waiting on, and I finally got it today, and I was really happy to have this one. I'm being as careful as I can. Here's the tape. I did kind of rip the end label off to see if there was a print date, but I wouldn't assume so, because this was like the Ever 2 printed by Magnetic Video. And then we're gonna move on to our Columbia tapes, which the first one is Ice Castles. Now this is a really rare one and it was pretty expensive, so that's a lot of dinners that had to be cooked. But um, there is something very special about this tape. Now, I can't really open the tape because it's so um, hard to get back in, but if you can see that red, with then that is a sign that it was I think it was a rental tape but it's printed on a scotch rent red lid rental tape so I was really happy to find that and it's really impossible to get back to the way it should be but anyway so I'm really happy to have that and here is a oh, crud here's where the problem comes in just let those two fall uh, here is the bridge over the river Kwai, or on the river Kwai, and this, these are the two that I was supposed to get, but I guess the seller got confused, which makes sense. They're, they're almost the same. Tape, and these were both printed by Scotch. Um, I know I should probably show the full tape for these Columbia ones, seeing as the, they normally have stickers if they're reprints, but, um, I can tell you that all the ones that... <laughs> I have are completely original and that's scotch too and now we're moving on to my personal favorite MGM CBS tape so the first one I have is a night at the opera and I do have a VHS copy of this already but I wanted to get one that was completely original so you can kind of tell by that little white and yellow thing there that that's an original copy but this has a blinker and it has a green sticker. So that is the way that you can verify if an MGM CBS tape from 1980 is actually from 1980 by that green sticker. It's very helpful. And then the next one is Cabaret, which is a fun movie. Bit disturbing though. And I had this on beta, but I was really happy to find it on VHS and 120 sticker. And I know from some videos that were uploaded, this does not have previews at the end. And then we have a 
broken tape for once, which is Papillon. So this one's weird because the tape is not really like correct, I guess you could say. But um, I'm gonna keep it anyway because I don't have a beta player that's working or anything. So it doesn't really matter, but I do, I will try to find a VHS copy at some point. And then we, oh, and that one is incredibly rare, so I was really happy to find that. And then we have Westworld. Now this is just a replacement for one that has, is in a rental case. And I almost have a scotch, but this is actually one of these tapes. I don't know what you call them. And nothing has an MGM CBS train. I think I might have just put the tape out of order. It's hard to describe. <clears throat> and then we have the greatest fights of the 70s. And this one's in really beat up condition. And the tape is wonky on this one, so that's disappointing, but cool tape anyway. And then our last one is a Disney one. This is Condor Man. Now, I was really happy to find this one and notice no sticker, I mean, uh, no print date or anything. It did come with this advertising thing from 1981, I think it was, but I don't know if that, ha I don't think that would have previews at the end because if it's 90 minute tape, then it wouldn't really have any room for that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry that the update was long. And um, that should be it for now. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching. And uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.